Hi, this is Randy Wong. I'm a retina specialist located in Fairfax, Virginia, which is just outside Washington, D.C. This is a follow-up video on a patient in whom I repaired a complete retinal detachment several months before uh, this particular surgery. The original, uh, this patient is about 60, 65 years old. Uh, she is a female and had a complete retinal detachment um, about two months and two weeks, almost three months before uh, this surgery. Uh, if you look around the retina as I am right now, you can see some scar tissue on the surface of the retina, but the retina is completely attached. That dense black spot is actually a scar from the original surgery. And in this surgery, what we're trying to do, or what I would like to do, is to remove the epiretinal tissue, which is near the macula. And the macula is that area uh, which I'm covering uh, with this green dye. The green dye is ICG dye, and as we'll see in just a minute, it's going to stain a good portion of the epiretinal membrane so I can see exactly where I have to uh, remove or peel the epiretinal membrane. Uh, the ICG dye is mixed with some dextrose, which is a sugar solution, which is heavier than water. And in this way, I can more specifically uh, stain just the retina without the dye mixing uh, all throughout the vitreous cavity. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to, I'm kind of letting the dye soak in, if you will, or marinate the retina. And in just a few seconds, I'm going to start aspirating or removing uh, the excess dye off the surface of the retina. Now, there is a tube which you cannot see which is pumping fluid into the eye. That metal rod that you see or the vitrector is actually removing fluid. So the tube acts as a conduit to keep the eye filled uh, with something we uh, call balanced salt solution, which is just a fancy term for artificial saline. The goal at this time is to remove the excess dye, and once I've done that, I'm going to put on a magnifying glass, which I just did there, and I'm going to put the forceps in through the right sclerotomy, and now we're going to look back into the eye. You can see how the fine tines of the uh, forceps that I'm going to use to peel the membrane off the surface of the retina. Now the dense white band that you see is actually redundant or folded retina in addition to um, the epiretinal membrane. The epiretinal membrane itself is lightly stained green. And once I get it in focus, you'll be able to see how I grasp an edge right there. And you can get the sense that I'm starting to actually pull on the entire surface of the retina. And in just a second, you'll see it start to come off in a sheet. Now, this doesn't always come off uh, easily. I think this w I had some moderate difficulty in removing this uh, membrane, especially in one piece. I apologize for the decentration. Sometimes I get so focused on what I'm doing, I'm not really paying attention to centering the microscope. My view when I'm operating is actually much wider than what you're seeing here in the video. So I'm going to go around the macula and get up what uh, the extra epiretinal tissue as much as I can. And I'm really trying to clean or get the fovea or the macula. That's that yellow-orange area to the right of the forceps as normal as possible. That bright white oval with the blood vessels coming out of it is the optic nerve. There's some peripheral scar tissue way, excuse me, uh, far away from the macula. We're going to leave that alone. And what I'm going to do here is just remove or, or cut this epiretinal tissue which is still kind of attached to that little piece of retina. 
And the whole idea is to make the macula as normal as possible because this will translate into improved vision, we hope. If the, mem if the membrane is not removed, then there's no hope of the vision getting better. In cases like this where there has been long-standing swelling, I will inject uh, some steroid, and this is Kenalog or Triessence, also known as uh, Triamcinolone. And it's just a uh, long-acting steroid. And basically, we're done. We take off the contact lens, which allows me to ma magnify images inside the eye. I'm going to remove the trocars, which are the conduits that allow me to safely introduce instruments into the eye. And then the last thing I remove is the infusion cannula. And you can see the uh, medicine swirling around in the eye. After the trocar is removed, uh, a patch is put on. No stitches are needed for this system. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Randy Wong. This surgery and most of my surgeries are performed at Woodburn Surgical Center, where I have an outstanding team. I'm a retina specialist located outside of Washington, D.C. Please follow me at www.retinaeyedoctor.com or vitrectomyforfloaters.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.